Now let's come back and start with the, the, the day three reactions. Now we have completed day one and day two. Now let's come back and see what are there to learn in day three reactions. So in day three reactions, these I'll be dealing with aldehydes, ketones and all these and some certain amount of miscellaneous reactions which are left out in your NCRT. Now in day three reactions, let us start with the first one. Reactions involving tolerance reagent, felling solution, KMnO4 and potassium dichromate. Why and concentrated nitric acid? Why did I take all these? All these are oxidizing agents. In the exam paper, if you see tolerance reagent, that is an ammonical silver nitrate, felling solution, this in uh, copper salt, isn't it? Right. So felling A and felling B. And when you see KMnO4, when you see potassium dichromate, and when you see concentrated nitric acid, all these are oxidizing agents which are studied separately. So we have already studied oxidizing agent, but this category of oxidizing agent, let us learn separately and see. Now, one thing you have to remember, this I've already discussed. Aldehydes and oxidation gives me acids. We have done reactions also. That then unsymmetrical ketones we very well know ketones do not further undergo oxidation right it will not but there is a rule called popoff's rule which i discussed in, in aldehyde chapter popoff's rule in this popoff's rule ketones that is unsymmetrical ketones will undergo oxidation and for mixture of acids remember that and one more primary alcohols and oxidation gives aldehydes aldehydes and oxidation give acids we have already studied this once again secondary alcohols and oxidation gives ketones but as I said earlier ketones will resist oxidation but according to Popoff's rule I can prepare mixture of acids done next one tertiary alcohols are resistant to alcohol oxidation because there is no replaceable hydrogens to undergo oxidation so remember this table and go to the exam if you remember this any type of reactions are easy let's start now you have in your aldehyde chapter this equation what is this equation basically they are treating aldehyde with tolerance reagent which is going to form silver mirror test so if you see this complex what is this complex this is called tolerance reagent so I have done one video also on tolerance test watch that video here which is under video number 24 in the playlist there is a big mechanism also which i've explained how to transfer and everything here there is no place it is only summary of all the reactions so you can go to aldehyde playlist and watch this video under video number 24 what is this reaction this reaction is reaction with fillings solution fillings a and fillings b this video also i did it in video number 25 in the playlist that is aldehyde playlist so please check that video done let's come back and see the third reaction here now what did they give me here they've given me a cyclo compound one side you have aldehyde group and one side you have a double bond now they're treating with your uh, tolerance reagent so what do we know tolerance reagent is an oxidizing agent that means in the presence of this aldehydes will get oxidized to acids Okay, nothing don't get confused when you see this reaction so basically when you see you have to remember tolerance reagent is acting as an oxidizing agent and aldehydes are converted to acids nothing to do with this so what is the product you get copy the same double bond O CHO becomes COH why because aldehydes and oxidation gives acids I said just now done let me come back and see this here I have KMnO4 KMnO4 is again an oxidizing agent right now aldehydes what will happen on oxidation this also gives acids COOH benzo benzaldehyde to benzoic acid now let me see the third reaction in third or fourth rather fourth reaction here in this reaction they have given biphenyls but this is cyclo group here you have ozone and you, you have to add ozone around this double bond and you have zinc and water so how should you add basically this adds like this isn't it your ring so this O breaks and you have one more ring oxygen oxygen so further this cleaves and what do you get instead of writing two rings I am going to write it as one ring two and when this breaks this becomes double bond O that's it right let's see the next reaction now what are we having here on the arrow you have KMnOH so, so KMnO4 KMnO4 is basically again an oxidizing agent but along with KMnO4 they've given you a base this is where you have to be careful now whenever you have a base along with the oxidizing agent first important thing now this is your uh, basically when I write this is C6H5 
Yes. Now, what is this? Benzophenone, right? Now, acetophenone, if I have to start from here, acetophenone. So, whenever you're treating with these two agents, first, this is going to form a, a salt that is potassium benzoate. Right? So, what will happen? You're going to show the formation of potassium benzoate. Now, this potassium benzoate further when I treat it with an acid, this becomes benzoic acid. That's it. This is a simple reaction you have to remember whenever you have KOH. Form the salt, potassium benzoate, then again convert it into benzoic acid. Done. Now, now next I have one more here. This particular, uh, they have given the condensed formula. They have given me C9H12O. When such uh, thing is given to you, nothing to do. Simple. First try to write benzene ring. Okay. Done. Now, when you have oxygen at the terminal end, that means it is an aldehydic group. Now let's count already this has C6H5 now this is C6H6 now C6 like 6 carbon five, uh, this is C6 here the 7th carbon here H5 here 5 plus 1 6 over now how many are left 6 here now I still have 12 isn't it for me I have uh, left with 5 because there is one bond joining now left over is what CH2 CH3 now let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, 8, 9, C9 is over. Now count the hydrogens. Here in this case, it was earlier C6, H6, now it has become C6, H4. H4, H5, H6, H7, H8, H9, H10, H11, H12. Then that is a bond. Now this is this. Now what is this compound? This is called 2 ethyl benzaldehyde. 2, 1, 2. 2 ethyl benzaldehyde benzaldehyde now when i'm treating with uh, ammonical silver nitrate what is this this is tollens reagent tollens reagent always whenever you see you need to convert aldehydic group into acid group it's going to oxidize aldehydes to acid that is what we've learned isn't it aldehydes on further oxidation gives acids so let us write that so now take this compound you wherever there is aldehyde try to make acid and this is like that only ch2 ch3 okay done now to this aldehyde now what what else is left this is going to precipitate out as ag silver this is your silver mirror test so you get this is silver mirror now what is this compound called this is called 2 ethyl what is this benzoate Okay, this is C CO minus also you can write, isn't it? If you are writing this as AG plus, you can write CO minus also, not a problem. C to ethyl benzoate. That's it. Silver will precipitate out as silver mirror test. Done. Now, next one, ninth reaction, uh, sorry, eighth reaction, let's see. Here, they have given me glucose. This is what I was discussing about. I said I will be showing you two things. Now, whenever glucose is uh, given or it is dealt with uh, bromine water, the bromine water is what? Oxidizing agent. Concentrated nitric acid is what? Oxidizing agent. So, whenever you are treating glucose with bromine water, oxidizing agent, whenever you are treating with concentrated nitric acid, you get two different products. What are they? With bromine water, you are going to get D gluconic acid with concentrated nitric acid you are going to get saccharic acid so what is the difference in structures yes now remember gluconic acid is COOH on the first carbon CHOH taken four times and CH2OH this is gluconic acid when it comes to saccharic acid both the groups the uh, first uh, uh, aldehyde as well as alcohol both are oxidized this becomes COOH on the top CHOH in the second next one and COH this is all two this is saccharic acid this is gluconic acid remember that so whenever you see bromine water you need to remember it will form gluconic acid whenever this is concentrated nitric acid you have to remember it is saccharic acid both the oxalic that let's see the next one here you have alcohols again you have oxidizing agent k 4 and in the presence of acidic medium so what did we say whenever you have alcohols or whenever you have aldehydes what did we learn in the earlier reaction we said aldehydes on oxidation gives acids second what did we say alcohols on oxidation pri primary alcohols on oxidation gives aldehydes i said okay let me come back and do now i have the concept alcohols on oxidation gives aldehydes remove this hydrogen from here and rcho 
further aldehydes and oxidation gives me acids but ketones will not give me isn't it so this is the power of this k mn4 as an oxidizing agent let me start the next one again i am given alcohol again there is oxidation again this potassium dichromate all these are oxidizing agents nothing to get confused but here in the presence of acidic medium now what should i do as soon as i see this one or this one i have to remove this hydrogen and make it alcohol oh, sorry aldehyde then so this is your reaction <coughs> now water is as, as usual there now, let us see this reaction this was given in one of the board papers also i did this in one of the board paper now what happened they have given me your uh, one two three propyl benzene alkyl group is present here ethyl benzene alkyl group is present here toline alkyl group is present now in this particular thing everything is treated with kmno4 Okay, as soon as you see KMnO4, comfortably you say, ma'am, aldehydes will get oxidized to alcohol. Sorry, and alcohols will get oxidized to aldehydes, aldehydes to acids. Done. But here there is no alcohol, there is no aldehyde. What should you do? But important thing you have to remember, there is one KOH given to you. Right? When you have KOH given to you, first important thing, as soon as you get KOH, irrespective of the size of the alkyl group, it will get converted to COOK, irrespective of the size, let it be ethyl, this and whatever it is, if KOH is there. This potassium formate, now after this potassium formate, they are going to treat it with acidic medium, H3O plus or H2SO4, both acidic medium. Then immediately this potassium benzoate, it gets converted to benzoic acid that's it so remember this if you see koh try to make it potassium benzoate and then further to benzoic acid now if i have to see the next set last two reactions of this topic now again they've given me alkyl group but here koh is missing then what should you do kmno4 is an oxidizing agent it will try to oxidize the alkyl group then what do you get you are going to convert it into benzoic acid and the uh, the leftover carbon comes out as carbon dioxide this is the reaction done so now toline is given to me here again they've given me koh when i see this koh blindly irrespective of the alkyl group i'll be writing as cook potassium benzoate further this is treated with an acid i said or sulfuric acid the cook it will get converted into benzoic acid that's it with the paper so please practice it more number of times combination of koh uh, kmno4 or potassium dichromate bromine water these are the reactions which are there in all your chapters together in ncrt